I go to the city and I take a look around Try and deal with all them random forces Then I get my money and I put the hammer down And go back to the land of dogs and horses I've been a traveling man almost all my life I hung on to my family and some verses Now I'm heading down the road and my hair's turning in white here in this land of dogs and horses Living in the land Living in the land of dogs and horses I had a job when I was young I guess it didn't last too long I wondered who made all the dumb guys bossy I hit the road Traveled on, singing them old country songs Here in this land of dogs and horses And up on exit 69, there used to be a town Now there's just a strip mall and some crosses I always take the old road just to look around Here in this land of dogs and horses Some men spend the time on earth trying to make a buck Some just sit around and count their losses The only time I'm winning man is when I'm in my truck Cruising through this land of dogs and horses I know somewhere around the city there's a man who don't sleep at night He just lies awake and turns and tosses he gets up in the morning and he says to his sweet wife I was dreaming of the land of dogs and horses Living in the land Living in the land of dogs and horses a glass of whiskey to our dear departed friends and then the glass sleep beneath the mosses we shiver at the weather up around the bend here in this land of dogs and horses living in the land living in the land of dogs and horses That was just kind of a Dogs and horses. exercise. That was kind of a fun tune. I just tried to come up with all kinds of words that rhymed with horses. <laughs> and it got pretty loose there, but it worked, you know. How <laughs> uh, you guys doing, all right? Sure. I went, I was about 24. I went down to New York City and I, I took a cassette tape down to a fellow named Harold Leventhal. He's an old guy, had been Woody Guthrie's manager. And he was Pete Seeger's manager and all that. And I had a, I got a meeting with him. I went there. Played him some tunes and he said, you know, folk music is dead. And I said, shit. So I decided to take the train home, and I'd never taken the train. 
So I decided to take it up to Montreal and come home that way. When I got on the train, I wrote my first Woody Guthrie song. I'm heading out of New York town on some old number nine. Up north, the Hudson's wild and the sun begins to shine. High noon, high tide, six string partner by my side. I don't think I ever had a better ride, or at least I can't recall. Two wholesome looking ladies, two rows back behind. A pecking on a dulcimer, room, and the sound is soft and fine. Businessman, Dapper Dan, Grandpa with his tired old hands. He has done the best he can, and we all must do the same. But the music from the dulcimer, it's a sad and a simple strain. And somewhere in my soul, I know that God is on the strain. I guess I should be somewhere else, but where I just don't know. Where the women dance and sing and where the softer breezes blow. Where the grass is always green and the old folks don't grow old. But for now I'll ride and bide my time down here below. The sweet, sweet voice is singing and as I strain to hear the music from the dulcimer is washing down like beer and the world of man sits and stands right here before my eyes i see a young man warrior bound and i hear a young girl sighs and i see a couple lost in love and the old conductor stands above them tickets please this ride's not free six hours to montreal Heading out of New York town on some old number nine. Up north, the Hudson is wild and the sun begins to shine. High noon, high tide, six string partner by my side. I don't think I ever had a better ride, or at least I can't recall. What do you got for doing? Called Dulcimer.